sorry about the angle of this video. <laughs> I'm still away and there's nowhere to put a selfie stick or anything. It's um, I'm just, My phone is balanced on my laptop uh, and I've just had to elevate it because everything's lower down than the seats. Um, today I wanted to talk about um, how I'm navigating the changes in saving rates because I was reading last month that they think the savings rates are going to drop in August and we're now in the first week of July. I had two fixed bond savings accounts. They were one year accounts and they matured earlier this year. I've put half the money into my stocks and shares ISA. The other half I've just left in my easy access savings account, which is with Tandem, which has always been quite a good account but in recent months it's now dropped to 4.90 um, and it's variable interest so I'm expecting that to go down again. Now I do have two other high interest savings accounts or higher interest savings accounts which um, I have been using. Um, one of them is with Yorkshire Building Society that is 5% interest on um, £10,000 I've been using that to keep my emergency savings and part of my next car fund. That way it's making 5% um, on an ongoing basis. It's not a notice account, but you think you can only have three withdrawals a year. So that's great for money that I don't plan to, um, to take out any time soon. So those two funds are gaining 5% interest at the moment but again that is a variable account that could change. The other account I've got is with Santander Edge. I took out uh, an account last August. Um, I took out the Santander Edge current account and I got the savings account which came with it which was 7% on £4,000. That matures in August, it'll have done its year, and then I'm going to have to find out what I'm going to do with that £4,000, which is going to be around about the time that those interest rates are going to drop. Now, there aren't really any good fixed rate accounts out there at the moment. Um, locking away your money for a long amount of time doesn't seem to be um, a very profitable thing to do at the moment. I'm also at a point where because I have invested some of my savings into my pension account and into my stocks and shares ISA, those are non-accessible accounts and I still need to know that I have some accessible money in case something does happen. I don't want to get myself down to a zero point and something happens like I lose one of my jobs, my rent goes up, there's a problem with the car and I don't have any way of accessing instant money, which is what I like about the Tandem account. Now I'm not going to empty that account completely, I'm going to keep some money in there, but um, what I've decided to do is use the, uh, the drip feed method to try and make some more money on some of those accounts but I need to be careful that I'm not oversubscribing myself and then ending up with no money. So what I'm doing is I am taking the money from my tandem, which is earning 4.90, and then in incremental amounts in regular saver accounts, I am going to reinvest it into other savings accounts which have higher interest rates. Now, these are regular savers. These are all fixed interest accounts. They are all six month or one year accounts only. So there's only a small amount of money going into them each month, um, but it's still making money. So the first one I took out is actually a six month fixed. Um, it's with Oxbury, who I've never used before. They have an interest rate of 5.25% and I have put two and a half thousand in, which was the remaining half from the uh, account that matured earlier this year and I've put the other half into my ISA. So that's now earning into January next year 5.25%. The next account I've taken out is with Principality. They have an 8% regular saver account and that's a fixed interest rate. You can only put in up to £200 a month and that again is a six monthly account. So £200 a month, it's earning 8%. 
and I get that back in January as well. That means that where I'm taking out quite a lot of money from my tandem on a monthly basis that I wouldn't normally, in six months, that money will go back in plus a little bit extra, which means I'm not depleting that account a lot. I'm still keeping a balance in. And the reason that's important is because I've also opened two one-year regular savers with fixed interest rates. One is with Halifax. I'm already with the Halifax, so I already had this account. It's 5.5%. It's a maximum of £250 per month for one year. So that means I will get that next June. Um, and equally, I've also opened the regular saver with Club Lloyds. I'm also a Club Lloyds account uh, owner, so I already have that as an option because I'm already a member. That you can put in up to £400 a month for one year, and that has an interest rate of 6.25%. So at the moment, that means that I have um, £200 going out a month, £250 going out a month, and £400 going out a month. But in six months, two of those accounts will have reached their maturity. I also have that Santander Edge Savings coming back in uh, August, so next month. That will be £4,000 back into the tandem. So there is always money there for emergencies, plus I do have a balance on the tandem anyway. I'm not daft enough to completely deplete my account. Now on top of that, of course I have my pension um, and I have my ISA. My pension gets 192 per month and my ISA gets 25 per month. And those are long-term retirement savings. They're there for 20 years, so I'm not going to touch those anyway. So that's inaccessible money. So this is how you drip feed. So you're taking that money from an existing savings account, my Easy Access 4.90, it's already working, and then you're taking it in small incremental amounts and making it work again in another account. And by using the drip feed method, um, and I've used, there's a, a drip feed method regular saver calculator on, on the Money Saving Expert website, and you can see from the screens that I'm going to put up now, I can already see how the drip feed effect increases how that money works. Now it is incremental, it's small amounts of money. There aren't any good long-term accounts at the moment, and there aren't any accounts where I feel safe locking all my money away because I never know when I'm going to need that money and you really have to protect yourself from emergencies. So um, if you are looking for ways to maximize small amounts of interest because anything's better than nothing. I mean, this means that um, my next tax year is going to be better in terms of savings interest than this tax year. And, you know, anything you can get at the moment is really important. So have a look at that. Have a look at the Money Saving Expert website. There are loads and loads of bank accounts on there. There are some accounts I can't get. So um, I want, really wanted the first direct 8% regular saver. I can't get that, and the same with Chase, and that's because my phone is too old and my smartphone won't accept the apps. So that's a bit of a problem. But this is a really good method. So if you're looking to maximise um, for small amounts of time in incremental amounts in different places, Maybe you already have a couple of these accounts, you're an existing customer. Give it a go. It's, uh, you know, these accounts won't mature until, uh, you won't get the interest until the accounts mature. But if you can wait six months, if you can wait a year, if it's extra money that you just want to earn something on, that you just want working for you, give this a go. This is a really good way to earn a few extra quid.